I'll be there at the after party. Show up looking like a zombie. It don't matter, nobody stop me. I'll be there, just tell me where. Do I sober up? Am I trying to keep it going to be continued or am I trying to lose good night? Came over now. I don't think I want to leave at a tough week. Gotta realize this is what I need. Don't got the time to be counting sheep. It's too late, I'm in too deep. Don't want to contemplate, overcomplicate this. And I made my choice, want to see what's going on. I'll be there at the after party. Show up looking like a zombie. Okay, so that was my very quick setup for December. It is the same as always. I have my reading challenge. I have my books read section and I have my statistics section as well as a place to do a monthly review. I did leave some pages here in the back because I kind of wanted to do like an annual breakdown of what types of statistics I had and all that kind of stuff. So I definitely wanted to make sure I left room. That's why I was being so careful the last few months <laughs> not going a little ham so anyways let's go back to october uh because that is the month we just finished to um take a look at what went on so my challenge was booking a mystery thriller genre i did not actually end up reading this um Book with a Black Cover, I did read, released in 2023. That is Iron Flame. Technically, that is not until November. I talked to you all about this while I was setting all this up, um, but I don't care because it's my challenge. <laughs> so as long as I read it, and I also read, um, I read Fourth Wing. So, you know, it, it's fine. And then Book to Prepare You for 2024, I read 4,000 Weeks. So let's go ahead and mark some of these off. I did read Black Cover. That was The Hunger Games. I will be reading um, Iron Flame. As soon as it comes out, it's supposed to get here on Tuesday. And then Book to Prepare You for 2024. I just haven't really been in that. Like, I barely even watched any Halloween movies either. I just wasn't really in the mood this year for some reason. Um, so let's go ahead and do statistics. I'm going to take a look back here in September. So I need five sections. So looking back, I need author, origin, number of pages, genre, and fic non. So I also need a section for books read which this month it is three, number of pages read, 1,307, and then average star rating. Let's scroll down. I use the story graph um, to give me <laughs> this information. 4.67. Good month. Okay, so uh, let me speed up the next part because it is always a struggle for me to do these little graphs. Yeah, my body keeps telling me go. I know be stacking towers from downtown. I'll be on a roll. Money soaking, it's a rush hour. This, that, overtime, champagne shower. Step back, 
skip lines, yeah, I'm never going caught. All the other guys are here, I just oh, oh, oh. Don't wanna contemplate, overcomplicate this. And I made my choice, wanna see what's going on. I'll be there at the after party, show up looking like a zombie. Okay, and there we have it. Um, she, her, 67. He, him, 33. U.S., 67. Uh, British, 33. Um, there was one book over 500. One book between 300 and 499 pages. And then one book under 300. Uh, most of them were young adults. There were two young adults. Uh, one was considered dystopian. One was considered fantasy. Um, and then one was self-help. Fiction was 67% and nonfiction 33%. I think that makes sense <laughs> given Hunger Games, 4,000 Weeks, and War Storm. So all of that makes complete sense. And then we have the monthly review, which I'm not going to do. Um, I've just been doing those randomly. Um, I did want to go back here because I think I have read, if I just make this 2023. I've read 39 books, so I can mark off that I've read at least 25 books in 2023. I can't do the two books per month yet because we are not at the end of the year and I have not read two books in November and two books in December yet. Um, read one book from each genre. I didn't read a book for historical fiction I don't think I'm gonna have to take a look and see if I did any of that um I really need to read some of these <laughs> books that because I've, I've just bought more books um I think that is uh the issue that most people have <laughs> is that they just keep buying more books and I am going to have to go back and read some of these books that were part of the challenges that I put down and did not, um, did not go back in for. So if I go back to my stats, I have two five-star books and one four-star book. So I think Hunger Games, I gave five stars probably for nostalgia. I, I mean, honestly, the whole concept is nuts, obviously, but it has a very good book. It's a well-written book. Um, I remember, so I read this back in college and I remember not being able to turn, like put the book down, even though I needed to study. <laughs> And just being completely engulfed in this book. Honestly, I so I read it the first time I did audiobook this time. Um, mostly so I could listen while I'm walking the dogs. Because I don't have a lot of uh, spare time these days. But I really... Um, and plus I've read it once already. So I didn't want to read it again. I also gave 4,000 Weeks five stars. So for Hunger Games, I think nostalgia had a lot to do with it. But honestly, it's just the concept is nuts. Obviously, it's an awful concept. But um, I, I remember being surprised. And obviously, I've watched the movies and now read the books multiple times now. So... It, obviously things aren't going to surprise me anymore but it is amazing how on a reread you catch things that or even like when you're listening um you catch things that are slightly different from the movies and that you like better and I did remember like you know the mayor's daughter and all that kind of stuff but there were some things that like I <laughs> I remembered again having done um having done 
the reread. So it was very nice. Um, okay, so I read War Storm also, and I think I gave this four stars, which makes sense. I do, I did like this one better than some of the previous ones. I know people were really pissed off at the ending of this book, and I don't want to spoil it or anything, but I, um, I liked it, so. Then again, I don't, I don't believe in everything has to end in such a cookie cutter way. You know what I mean? So. I actually um, do very much enjoy when things aren't just easy at the end. Um, there is one more book to the series, which brings me to the whole December challenge. Okay, so December's Challenge, flipping all the way back here, is a book in my favorite color, which is going to be multiple of these. I'm going to read Broken Thorn, th Throne, sorry, <laughs> Broken Throne. So that is the last book in that series, which that will be book in my favorite color, book to finish a series. Technically, it's also um, book in my favorite genre. I do love... Um, I do love young adult fantasy type books, but I'm all, I'm also going to read Catching Fire and Mockingjay this month. So that is going to be book to finish a series as well. And book that ter ter was turned into a movie. I can't talk today. I'm sorry. And book in my favorite genre, um, because I thrive on the dystopian style. So I'm going to have Catching Fire and Mockingjay as that particular aspect. So let's do Broken Throne. Also doing Catching Fire and Mockingjay. One of the reasons I'm doing that is because whenever uh, Songs of Ballad and Songbird gets released on whatever platform it may get released on, I'll be watching that. I don't think it's going to get released in December, so I have time to finish that series. So I'm not super worried about that yet. So that's why I'm like, okay, I, I just read Hunger Games, and then I'm going to read these two in December. So going back, I'll go ahead and add these in. I'm, it's going to be hard for me to be objective for Catching Fire because um, I do love Finn. And no spoilers there, but um, if I am spoiling a book that took the world by storm and is a movie franchise and came out, you know, 10 plus years ago, then sorry. <laughs> sorry. Honestly, that's on you more than me. So, <laughs> okay. So adding those in to finish out the year. Um, so as you all know, I won't be doing a reading journal in 2024. Um, the only thing I'll be doing is I have one uh B5 notebook. So I will be including reading stuff in that setup. But I'm not really, I'm not going to be on social media. <laughs> I, I will have scheduled posts for my plan with me. So I'm not really going to go over things like I have in the past, um, like what I did for this uh, reading journal. So I will probably share something at some point. But I, I really am trying to kind of wrap up the strings of everything of this business just because it's not, um, 
I need to move on to other things. I've been doing this for eight years and uh, it has taken a lot of my free time. Um, and I want to do other things with my free time now. So just so you all know, uh, I won't be doing a reading journal and I won't be sharing a reading journal in 2024, but I hope to come back at some point and um, share some of my thoughts with you. But I hope that you really enjoyed um, my time <laughs> doing this reading journal and uh, it gave you a lot of creativity and inspiration um, that you like the sticker kits that are available. They're only available for a dollar on my website as a printable and um, there's a big, big sale right now. So you can get them like for like, uh, like for 30 cents or something like that. So just an FYI. So if you want to um, do any of that, definitely go check out my website. Um, and I really enjoyed this chapter of my life with you. So thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone. I'm away, my see